Okay, so in this video we're going to be checking out the new Tachyon motor from iFlight RC. This is the 1408-4100 KV motor. And it's got the new design here with the open bottom. Uh, it's a pretty uh, powerful motor uh, and it, it sucks down batteries big time. You'll see that in the uh, flight demo. And uh, it's a very notchy motor. Uh, you can see if you, you, I can barely move it by hand because the magnets are so strong. I think that has an effect on heat and also flight times, but it has a ton of power as well. Now what I did is I just put this on this motor on my Furby X140. Uh, this originally came with uh, a thir was that four sorry, 1306 motor. So it's this one here, uh, Ready to Sky 1306 3100 KV. Obviously a much smaller motor. I'll just put this here next to this one here. See, it's a much, much, much smaller motor. And, you know, with the old motor, this was, I thought it was a really good beginner, um, like a trainer type of three inch micro. Not a whole ton of power, but, you know, it was a decent amount of power. And then uh, all I did was I, I just uh, swapped out those motors for this one here on the, basically the same frame to see how much more power this would have. So you can, guys can go and watch the video on the X140. And I'll put a card in the corner of that one if you want to see that flight demo with the old motors compared to this one. And if you want to know um, how this motor compares to the Diatone motor, this is the uh, GTM3. And this one came this one came with the Edge Racing Sunny Sky motor. This is the 1408 motor as well, but this one's at 4,000 kV. So, you know, similar kV, 4,000 versus 4,100 kV. But I think the motor construction, everything is completely different. This one's a very notchy motor, the tachyon is very notchy, whereas the uh, the diatone motor is very smooth. The, the, motor, the magnets don't grab on very strongly. Although that motor as well is a huge battery hog. So um, now I did test this on a smaller battery because I wanted to keep this lightweight to try and get maximum speed. So it's only a 554S, um, but I would not recommend flying this motor on this setup here on that light of a battery. I would go with a much bigger battery. I would go with a minimum of an 850 4S high C rated battery. Otherwise you can get extremely short flight times like I did in the flight demo that you'll see. So without further ado, go ahead and show you the flight demo and you guys can see for yourself what this motor is like. Okay, so these are the uh, PIDs I'll be starting with. This motor has a ton of power, way more than I thought it would have. All right, let's try a full speed pass here. So I'm going to need to do a little bit more tuning this, but it's not too bad with these values. Let's see, too much oscillation or vibration. This is way faster than the old motor. The 1306 3100 KV motor is way slower than this. I think there's so much torque from this motor that the prop is actually having some sort of resonance oscillation. I think it's due to the tune. So you don't see anything come out in hard turns. does fly pretty nice though. They're definitely way faster compared to before. Whoops. Pretty good power. Way more power than before. And I think uh, this is going to be a battery destroyer. I'm not sure I'm going to get a very long flight here. I'm flying with a 550 uh, 4S GMD battery. So, hoping to get a minute and a half to two minutes. <laughs> this motor is going to be a battery sucker. 
even more so than the Diatone uh, 1408. That was only, I think, only 4,000 TV. This is 4,100 TV. But this tune seems to be okay. It's a little on the loose side, but I don't want to smoke the motors. They have very torquey motors, but this has a lot of power. You can hear the props. They have some kind of a, uh, it's not an oscillation, but some sort of a, sort of, sort of a vibration or something that's right there. You can hear it right there. It's not because of, I don't think it's because of the tune. I think it's this motor is just spinning this prop at this incredible RPMs and I'm at a minute and a half and my battery's dead. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely a battery killer. Uh, only a minute and a half on the 550. So keep that in mind. You're probably gonna have to go with a bigger battery, but I wanted to get maximum performance out of this, see what this motor could do, and it moves. So <laughs> it's a good motor.